Well, I think it's really ironic. The day after we release a uh, Canada a climate report for Canada um, by our scientists that said that Canada's uh, warming is double the world average that we have, the Premier of Manitoba deciding to take us to court to spend taxpayer money fighting climate uh, action as opposed to fighting climate change. This week, Manitoba joined Ontario and Saskatchewan and announced it will challenge the federal government's carbon tax in court. But Manitoba has a slightly different legal case than the other provinces. While Ontario and Saskatchewan argue Ottawa has no constitutional authority to impose a tax on a province, Manitoba plans to argue it already has a strong plan to cut emissions. It's called the Made in Manitoba Climate and Green Plan. So why does the Premier think that plan is better than the one offered by the feds? Manitoba's Premier Brian Pallister joins me now from the legislature in Winnipeg. Hi, Premier Pallister. Great to see you again. Thanks for your time. Thanks so much, Vashi. Premier, back when the federal government initially said that provinces had to measure up to their plan, you weren't happy, but your government got a legal opinion that said you wouldn't win a court case. What's changed? Well, we got a legal opinion that Ottawa had the right to impose a carbon tax, Vashi, but we also got an opinion that said they had to do it fairly. And the basis of our ca uh, court case is that it's not being done fairly. There are many reasons behind uh, that thesis to support it. Uh, the the uh, discrepancies between and among various provinces and the way they're applying exceptions would be one. Clearly, Manitoba has been one of the greenest jurisdictions for a long time. And clearly, we're not being respected for that fact. So that is uh, part of the basis of uh, what we would have to do should this get to court. Uh, we're disappointed we have to go to court. Uh, we prefer and we tried, uh, as you well know, more than virtually any other province uh, to work with the federal government to keep, frankly, Justin Trudeau and the federal government out of my province and out of the pockets of Manitobans. But uh, failing that, this is the choice that's left to us and so we are going to pursue this action. I just want to be clear though, Premier, what exactly is different? Because in October 2017, you said, you said as you were preparing your own climate plan, if we just say no, we get Trudeau. If we go to court, we lose. I mean, they're doing exactly what they said they would do, so I'm just not clear on what exactly is different. Well, let's be clear. Since they invoked that plan, uh, or the threat of it, they've made exceptions for other jurisdictions on a number of fronts. Exceptions in various provinces on things like coal-fired generation. They've given credit for projects not yet done in other jurisdictions that Manitobans are paying for and have done. The discrepancies in the application of this thing are very, very clear. And let's go back a second and remember, that we proposed a carbon levy that was flat, like the prairie horizon, and Ottawa said it wasn't good enough, and it's got double the stringency of anything Quebec's doing right now. So we've got a basis for our court case now that we didn't have then, because we've seen the discrepancies in the way in which the federal government is applying their, uh, well, let's just call it a piecemeal approach on this, uh, on this issue. If your legal case, though, in this matter is based on the merits of your climate change plan, the one where you were going to levy, as you said, a $25 a ton <coughs> carbon tax, you cancelled that tax in October of last year. So do you really have that case? Oh, absolutely. Look, here's the whole problem. The federal Liberal government wants to run an election on this issue. That's pretty obvious to everybody that's been watching this. They're not treating this as a fight carbon issue. They're treating this as a fight amongst ourselves issue. They're making it a political debate when it should be a unifying discussion around how we beat carbon down. Are they making it or is Andrew Scheer making it and Jason Kenney making oh, yes. it and Doug Ford making oh, it? Are they all making I'm, it? I'm not speaking... I'm not speaking about any of those men. I'm speaking about the federal Liberal government making this a political fight with Manitoba. We produced a 77-page green plan. We are the greenest jurisdiction. We're investing billions of dollars in clean green hydro energy. We have the most stringent rules around ethanol for our fuels. We have taken numerous measures to make sure that we keep our reputation for green. We get zero credit for that. We introduced a $100 million conservation trust uh, specific to uh, enhancing water management policies, restoring and enabling wetlands. Uh, we are uh, working on every front. The 77 pages of our plan, Vashi, had one page on carbon tax. We're saying no to that page. We're saying yes to the other 76. And this is the problem with what Ottawa is doing to Manitoba specifically, and I think to some other provinces. They're invoking their one-size-fits-all solution on provinces that are doing a better job of greening up the environment and cleaning things up for future generations than they themselves are. 
We should be united on this issue, not divided, but they're taking a divisive approach, that's clear. Is, if your province does not have a carbon tax, will it meet the original targets set out in the absence of that tax? Because that's central to what the federal government is wanting provinces to do. Well, that might be central to what the federal government wants us to do. We're already taking extra steps to make sure our plan works. But scientists who evaluated our plan, and there are many of them, by the way, we had literally hundreds of people involved in, the, in over a year in the preparation of our plan, which Minister McKenna said was the best plan submitted by any province. But that included they the said carbon tax. Our plan will work better than the federal. They said our plan would work better than the federal government's plan. What we're objecting to is the false assumption the federal government's making that their plan, which is a boil the frog, sneaky plan, you know that. If, look, if the idea was to make everybody greener, why do it gradually? If the idea was to improve the circumstances of our planet by having all provinces step up at the plate, why make exceptions all over the country? This is not, uh, this, it isn't supportable that the federal government is taking a cooperative approach on this. I'd say it's quite evident that they're not. They're taking a divisive approach. Why would they give offshore exemptions for, uh, uh, for Newfoundland and no respect for us doing a hydro investment that is the highest per capita in the country? You following me? So what we've got here is a situation where the federal government's playing fast and loose with its rules depending on which province it's talking to. And our court case will work. And our legal advice is we can win if we have to proceed. And, now, a lot of things have to happen case, before sorry, that's And necessary. your legal case is based on your climate plan, including or excluding a carbon tax, just to be clear. Uh, obviously, there's more to it than that, but the fact remains we've got 76 of 77 pages we're working on right now. So, so I just want to make sure I'm, I understand correctly. You're saying that the plan that you'll be presenting under the legal case will not include that $25 a ton to carbon tax. I'm not going to get into what we're presenting a legal case for. We're going to be working in court if need be on the basis that we have a plan which will work and that it is not Ottawa's right to tell us how and when to invoke a plan that is not as stringent as the one we are acting on now. The reason I'm asking though, sir, to be fair, is that the Fed, you know, you're, tr you're trying to say the plan that we have does what the federal government said. It just doesn't comply with the exact you know, ins and outs. And, and we put that question to them. Why not just accept it? But the, the problem is if that doesn't include the carbon tax, then it doesn't even come close to subscribing to what the federal government wanted. So I think it's a fair question to ask well, what you're going to be presenting no, to win a, this it's argument. A fair, it's a fair question, Vashi, but you're drawing a false assumption if you're buying into the argument that a carbon tax is going to make a difference in changing people's attitudes. But you Vashi thought it would before. That, is a, a that was going, your plan. Vashi, look. Vashi, 77 pages, okay? We're acting on 76 of them. I'm trying to explain to you that the carbon tax is one way to deal with a serious global problem. And there are 76 other pages of activities, programs, and, pro and projects that we're engaging in that we think cumulatively will make a better, do a better job of positively impacting on our environment here in Manitoba and us doing more than our part, as we always do here in Manitoba, to pull our weight on this project. And I do not think it's fair that the federal government thinks it can come in, invoke its plan arbitrarily, when according to our experts, our plan will work better. Now, you're buying into, I'm afraid, with the line of questioning, the argument the federal government wants to make that the only way to deal with this, this problem is a carbon tax. And I'm telling you, there are dozens of other more effective ways. With and we're addressing that in our province, and other provinces are as well. With respect, Minister, I'm not buying into any argument. I'm presenting the challenge to the one that you're asserting. And you are the one who first proposed sure. no, a carbon tax enough. for your province. Yes, as part of a massive program which has been recognized by the Prime Minister of Canada in conversation with me as the best plan any province has put forward. So you've got to ask yourself then, if that's the case and true, which I believe it to be, then why would the federal government reject our plan and impose one that's less effective? And I would say the evidence right there is compelling. They want to fight. And they're picking a fight with me. And they're including their minister said on another program just recently that the provinces that are having this imposed, none of them have a plan. And that's false. And the minister knows that. So they're playing partisan games with an issue that we should be rising above the partisanship. We should be, all of us, embracing the challenge of making the planet cleaner and Canada better. And we should be doing our part to address this issue. And Manitoba is prepared to do that. We're just not prepared 
to respect Ottawa's imposition of a plan that doesn't respect our green record. Do you truly feel, though, Premier, that it's just Ottawa, that it's just this government making it a partisan issue? Do you feel like Andrew Scheer, like Doug Ford, like uh, like Jason Kenney, uh, et cetera, like Blaine Higgs, are they are not making this political? Uh, you didn't have me on your show to make comments on other people. I'm going to comment on Manitoba's approach. Well, you're it's commenting on the tango feds. when it's clear the <laughs> prime minister. Well, well, I'm telling you, look, Vashi, we're the only conservative governed province that advanced a plan that is as comprehensive as the one we did advance, and we got zero respect from Ottawa for it. They wanted to have a fight. I am interested in making this planet better for my kids, and I think most Canadians want us to focus on that. So what we've got now, and sadly, it's a function of the deterioration of this FedProv debate, is that we've got now people fighting about a carbon tax when we should be working together to clean up our environment. And that's what we're going to focus on in Manitoba. Unfortunately, because the federal government doesn't respect the fact that we are making billions of dollars of investments here in Manitoba in specifically green projects, zero dollars of federal help for these projects, by the way, that forces us to defend ourselves. And so Manitoba, one of the smaller provinces with the greenest record among the provinces, is forced to go up against a big federal government on an issue we shouldn't have to fight about. I'm prepared to advance a green agenda, and that's exactly what we'll do. But I'm saddened that we have to take it to this, this length to, uh, because, frankly, I believe that the federal government wants to fight on this issue and run an election on it. Okay, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, Premier Pallister. A pleasure, as always, to have you on the show. Great, Vashi. Talk to you soon.